while bones can increase in width through appositional growth. Bones which increase in length do so at a band of cartilage known as the epithecial plate between the bone in the epiphysis and diaphysis. And additional cartilage can be laid down on the diaphysis side of this epithecial plate, which is then converted to bone. There are four recognized zones in an epithecial plate. In the zone of resting cartilage, cartilage which lies adjacent to the bone in the epiphysis anchors the epithecial plate to this bony surface. In the second zone, the zone of proliferating cartilage, chondrocytes divide rapidly, so rapidly that a series of chondrocytes exists in long stacks these stacks will replace the cartilage which calcifies and dies where the epithecial plate meets the diaphysis. In the third zone, the zone of hypertrophic cartilage, the chondrocytes mature further, producing glycogen. The lacunae or spaces which they occupy enlarge. The matrix between lacunae shrinks, and the cartilage approaches the diaphysis. In the bone of the diaphysis, osteoblasts and capillaries introduce calcium, which calcifies the matrix of the cartilage. This is a problem for chondrocytes, given that cartilage is avascular, and these chondrocytes rely on diffusion through the matrix in order to obtain their gas exchange and their nutrients. As cartilage calcifies, these chondrocytes die and will ultimately be reabsorbed by osteoclasts as osteoblasts and capillaries invade the area to replace this dying cartilage with bone. This occurs in the zone of calcified cartilage. It is in the epiphyseal plate that bones can increase in length after birth. As long as the epiphyseal plate survives, then the bone will continue to lengthen. During puberty, Hormones cause the bone front to advance more rapidly. Once it overtakes the hyaline cartilage of the epithecial plate, the bone in the epiphysis and the bone in the diaphysis will fuse at an epithecial line, and the bone has then reached its adult length.